Well, um, you know, let's talk about the Ben Stiller film. I mean, of course, Stiller is a very popular name here in Korea as well. And, you know, we remember the Zoolander <laughs> and, of course, uh, uh, Noah Baumbach's uh, Greenberg. So can we expect a similar, I suppose, sense of humor from Ben Stiller in this film? Well, if you're expecting the same old Ben Stiller, the wacky, the craziness of Zoolander, this might be this film. Walter Mitty might be a little bit tame for you, but I think this is offset by the story and uh, his acting as uh, in his real life and his daydream. So it's a great contract, contrast, excuse me, and it shows off his uh, acting skills. Right. So hopefully uh, we will find a very humorous Ben Stiller as he always is, um, as his previous works. Now um, I'm also looking forward to Stuart uh, Dryberg's stunning cinematography. It well, you know. The filmography of the film actually looks spectacular. It's on location shots in uh, the mountains and all around the globe actually look absolutely beautiful. And it, it'll be interesting to see how Ben Stiller's directing is kind of uh, coincides with the story of the film. All right, so uh, definitely something to look forward to. And uh, you have the movie rankings for us, right? That's right. Now, with the upcoming weekend and the holidays, let's go ahead and take a look at what other films are doing well here at the Korean box office. And starting off our countdown this week is the Korean romantic comedy Steal My Heart, directed by Lee Hyun Jung and starring Chu Won and Kim Ah Jung. Follow the story of the elite cop Ko Tae who is on a stakeout for his latest case. But when he learns that the prime suspect is his first true love, old feelings arise and his principles are shaken to the core. And number four is the thriller Way Back Home, directed by Pang Eun Jin and starring Chun Do Hyun and Ko Soo. Follow the story of Song Jung Hyun, who is on vacation in Europe, but is arrested on drug possession charges when she attempts to fly back home to Korea. Number three this week is the British romantic comedy About Time, directed by Richard Curtis and starring Domhnall Gleeson and Rachel McAdams. And the runner-up for the top spot this week is The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, directed by Peter Jackson and starring Martin Freeman and Ian McKellen. And that leaves us with the top film of the week, the Korean film The Attorney, starring Song Kang-ho and directed by Yang Woo-seok. The film follows the story of Song Woo-seok, whose one and only goal as a tax attorney is to make money. That is, until one day he meets a terrorized student activist, Jin-woo, who is unjustly beaten and tortured for his views. Will Woo-seok jeopardize his career and his future to defy an unjust system? Find out in the number one film of the week, The Attorney. Well, it was a very exciting week for movie fans um, here in Korea. And also, we look forward to a holiday treat at the theaters for the coming week. And I'll be sure to bring everybody uh, which movies fared well in 2013, both uh, from Hollywood and Korea as well. All right. Thank you, Taehyung, for that. And have a good weekend. All right.